saw it was being escorted by police and decided they wanted to stop it. Okay. Thank yeah, you. The bus hasn't moved, right, Garvin? Excuse me, Jessica? Yeah, yeah, it's Lisa. Has the bus moved at all? No, the bus is still right where it uh, right where it stopped. I, I must say, and this is coming from some of the protesters. Some of the protesters were telling me that one person was hurt uh, uh, by the bus when they first tried to stop the bus. It kept moving forward before eventually giving up. Somebody had told me that someone was hurt, but we have not been able to confirm that. All right, thanks a lot, Garvin Thomas. Live there near the ferry building in the midst of this, midst of it. This is that is along the Embarcadero. Of course, this is all leading up to the opening ceremony at McCovey Cove. NBC 11's Diane Dwyer is there right now with the latest on that. Diane. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a lot calmer over here. It's a beautiful day out here. It's pretty windy, but other than that, it's very calm. There is an uneasy feeling a little bit here, not knowing what's to come. But I'll tell you what, Garvin was asking where the police are. I'll show you where they are. If we look down the road here, we've got a huge police presence here at opening ceremony at McCovey Cove. It's a relatively small crowd here because this is invitation only. But you look down that street, and the sidewalks are lined up all the way along here, all the way over to at t Park and up the Embarcadero. And the police are out in force here. We've seen them by boat, by bus, on foot, as you can see here. They are not letting people through here. Now, this opening ceremony is supposed to get underway at about 105. So right now, essentially, as far as we can tell, no dignitaries have arrived here yet. There's a whole special section for them, and it's still empty at this point. So this is very fluid and uh, is not going to get started on time at all here. The torch run is supposed to run here to the Embarcadero, to Aquatic Park, and back to Justin Irma Plaza. But we have learned a lot of that has already changed as well. It was supposed to be six miles. It's cut down to three miles. The runners are now going to have to share the torch. They're going to go two by two. There are 79 runners, so now they're going to share the torch two by two rather than going individually, and that's how they cut it from six miles down to three miles. As far as what's going on here at the opening ceremony, we've got a couple hundred supporters. It's highly secure. Police are everywhere. There are a few protesters here, but only on the outskirts. They did not. This is invitation only, as I mentioned. Now, one of our runners is our own Raj Mathai. He is getting ready right now. It's been interesting for him as well. He's been changing routes constantly. He was put on a bus, sent to one location, then sent to another. He also, at one point, was during setup ran into Willie Brown, another runner. They went on their separate ways, and the pro Chinese folks along the path where Raj was treated him like a rock star. They were crazy about the whole thing, and he said he feels comfortable with his role today. I think I'm very positive. A lot of people are positive that this is going to be a peaceful protest. And I said this before, and I'll say it again. I don't think there's a better place to be today in North America than in San Francisco right now. Raj is one of 79 runners. A 14-year-old girl dropped out yesterday out of concern. Now, there were some protests along 3rd Street as well, some skirmishes between pro-Chinese supporters and the uh, pro-Tibetan folks there as well. Let's listen into that for a second. <laughs> On just a little ways there's just a block and a half from here and as you can see it's very quiet here if we can show you this area here where we're supposed to have the dignitaries by Willie McCovey statue it is completely empty no one has arrived here yet the torch runners were supposed to be here as well they're not here either so there's a lot of question on whether the torch is actually going to go from here over to the ferry building by foot or perhaps by boat. There's been a lot of questions and obviously the whole situation is changing depending on where the protesters are and what's happening at that point. Right now we're going to check in with Cheryl Hurd who has been out here all morning as well and she's checking in on some of the protests and some of the security around here. Right Cheryl? That's right, Diane. Thank you very much. All eyes on San Francisco right now. And it is really frustrating not knowing exactly what's going on. You saw the scene behind us. People here are watching and waiting. Some of them have been here since 3 o'clock this morning. But if you can take a look from Chopper 11, you can see earlier today what we saw from the air. As we said, there is an incredible amount of police presence along the parade route. You saw Garvin Thomas with what's going on down there. Um, but police officers are in cars, in motorcycles, and on bikes. There are also many police officers working undercover. So 
police officers may be standing right next to you and they could be in plain clothes. Um, not only San Francisco police officers, but we have county sheriffs, CHP, and state police. Now, the protest factor is near the front of the park here in this area. Interesting to see a line in the sand, if you will, Tibetan protesters on one side and Chinese supporters on the other side. They are yelling at one another, but pretty peaceful as far as we know when we shot that videotape earlier today. Now, the Chinese Chamber of Commerce bust in supporters from all over. I talked to uh, Chinese supporters from Stanford University, from UC Berkeley, and I'm hearing from a source that 11,000 strong bust in from other areas. Now, I bumped in earlier today uh, to former Willie Brown, former Mayor Willie Brown, and he walked here from his apartment in a financial district, and he just got back from a book tour in Chicago, and guess what? He is ready. Okay, so are you excited? Oh, I am. I am. I am so excited. I actually walked down here, and I'm frankly looking forward uh, to taking off my cap and putting on my crown so that I can really be an Olympian and displaying my wrist. I got it all. <laughs> <laughs> now the mayor should now the mayor should patent that laugh and sell it. We have a chopper shot from above high so you can see exactly what's going on here. And uh, he told me earlier today that he was torchbearer number seventy nine, but around twelve o'clock he had no idea.